Nearly half a million U.S. military members suffered post-traumatic stress disorder after the Afghanistan and Iraq conflicts. Traumatic brain injury, or TBI, was also more frequently diagnosed in veterans serving in conflicts after the September 11th terror attacks. Now a new non-drug therapy is working to help veterans suffering from headaches caused by both conditions. Memory loss and headaches still plague Army veteran Michael Gator 18 years after three traumatic brain injuries during deployment in Iraq. Somebody had taken an explosive satchel, threw it on top of the vehicle, and it detonated. Then Michael's military vehicle swerved to avoid a runaway truck, rolled over, suspending him in midair. I unbuckled uh, my harness, and when I unbuckled, I came headfirst down on the driver's hatch. And strike three, a tank hatch knocked Michael in the head. Those three incidents triggered 20 years of debilitating headaches and memory loss. That is, until Michael participated in a groundbreaking cognitive behavioral study conducted by UT Health San Antonio. It's called Cognitive Behavioral Therapy for Headache, or CBTH. The researchers modified psychotherapy treatment traditionally used for migraine sufferers. Not only did we see better headache outcomes from this headache treatment, which was sort of expected, we showed PTSD improvements that were comparable to a gold standard PTSD treatment. During therapy, trained clinical psychologists taught vets to prevent their headache triggers, manage stress, and re-engage in daily activities. It really helps them cope better. My mission is, you know, helping my, my veteran community. And what I like to do is everything that I learn, I pass on. McCreary and his colleagues developed this therapy by modifying a previous migraine study, and they hope to replicate their findings in a more diverse sample and plan to test it in a larger trial at a number of military and VA sites across the country.